Shalom Chabim. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live here tonight. We are looking at some very serious things that are developing. Just kind of a quick take of our broadcast tonight. Uh, first off, uh, uh, South Korea is reporting that yet uh, another uh, U.S. carrier group is headed over to the uh, seas there around uh, North, North and South Korea there. This time it's the, uh, the Nimitz that is joining already, uh, there being the Ronald Reagan and the Vincent, uh, Carl Vincent that is in the region, which we knew this from the beginning. We had reported this ourselves here on Israeli News Live, uh, I guess a couple of weeks ago, that all three of the ships would be there. And of course, as tensions are rising, the, this is one of the reasons why the U.S. military has said that they would actually bring in the third strike group into the region. And, and no doubt with North Korea possessing nuclear weapons and the fact that the China and Russia both on the borders with their own militaries there, uh, the United States may be very concerned that that could pose a retaliatory threat. So uh, the United States taking no chances whatsoever in the region. Of course, we have military bases in Japan as well and uh, other parts of the region there. Uh, for a backup support if indeed President Trump does decide or the, uh, we should say, the shadow government decides that we're going to go after North Korea to try to stop Kim Jong-un. Uh, I'm very concerned too that, that, that whether or not that'll be a simultaneous event that co uh, comes all the way across the Middle East or not, not sure how that's going to work out, uh, but it's very concerning. And also the United States is planning another uh, test. Uh, it's not They've not done one since 2014. Uh, to try to stop an ICBM from coming into the United States. There's been 17 attempts to, to stop ICBMs. Only nine of them have been successful. The last one in 2014 was a success. Let's hope this time it's more successful because the three before that were all failures. Uh, that doesn't sit well for the American public, especially when you have North Korea talking about launching ICBMs. And I don't think that North Korea really has the most state-of-the-art equipment there, but uh, clearly Russia and China have not really said whether or not they're going to side with the United States. And I'm kind of wondering whether or not Russia is going to really side with the United States after yet again the G7 summit there uh, in Italy and Sicily that just took place there. They have all decided to re-keep uh, those sanctions going on Russia all the way through 2017. You know, this just like it goes. You take, you get an, you ever seen a bear that's hungry when he first comes out from his winter nap and everything? Uh, some of those male grizzly bears there are not the most pleasant creatures in the world. Some, a bear that normally could eat just nothing but, a, you know, fish and some berries and, and grass and things like that. Well, they get pretty doggone angry when the food supply is cut off and they have killed just about anything there is. So that does concern me that they continue to do the sanctions on Russia rather than trying to mend the relationship there with Russia and bring some, some stability in the world. I think it's only going to drive more of a wedge. So I'm very concerned about this situation in North Korea. If it gets out of hand over there, if the United States strikes North Korea to bring down Kim Jong-un, will Russia just sit back and watch? Will China just sit back and watch? Or is this going to spiral out of control as the Chinese president has said that it could turn into a third world war? Speaking of a third world war, Egypt uh, has also retaliated against Libya for, their, uh, for the terrorists that they have in their country that launched a, uh, an attack on a bus with Coptic Christians, killed uh, just many people there in the buses there that just happened the other day. Now Egypt has responded and that has also put uh, uh, Tunisia on high alert on their own borders uh, in the event that something takes place as a result of the uh, conflict that is ongoing with Egypt and Libya. It could definitely all spiral completely out of control. Not to mention, talk about refugee crisis. T uh, Tunisia is worried about it. What about uh, Italy? There, there's tons of refugees continue to pour across the channel there, so no doubt that could happen once again. Also, we've been mentioning to you guys for some time and asking for your help in, in making this possible, and it has become possible. Israeli News Live will air uh, once a week, as of right now, once a week it'll be airing on World Harvest Television Network there in the United States. That's Direct TV channel 367, 367 on Direct TV. If you happen to have Direct TV, I know they also air on Roku and Apple TV, and as well in some places in the world, you can also go directly to the uh, uh, 
World Harvest Television Network's website. If you just type in those keywords, you can pull up their website. You're able to watch live uh, in some parts of the world. That is possible. I've not been able to do it myself here in the Czech Republic, so I don't know exactly how that works. But it's 10 p.m. Eastern tonight. So if you'd like to uh, check it out, do so. We appreciate it. And uh, if you happen to know anyone that has a business that would like to help sponsor the broadcast, we do have uh, positionings for advertisement that is available where that can be done to help support the broadcast that we're doing there. It's basically an overview of the week's news that is coming out. Uh, and from time to time, when we can look at those things from a prophetic impact, we will also do that on uh, this particular broadcast here. But for all the latest breaking news that we try to bring out, trying to bring out a balance of things that are going on in the world today, uh, check us right out here on YouTube, Israeli News Live as well. We do have a live stream channel. We're not always there because we've always had technical difficulties, so we're just there occasionally. Uh, and of course, if you're looking for our biblical teachings, the Noon Institute on our YouTube channel. Uh, anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom. Have a great evening. And if you do want to support, we thank you for that. You can visit us there at our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org, or just right here on our YouTube channel, Israeli News Live. Make sure you're on the right YouTube channel there and right above the subscribe button. Thank you, and thank you for watching.